Happy Orientation Day and congratulations on joining Niagara College. This is a truly exciting time as you join our Niagara College family. Our alumni are nearly 100,000 graduates are living and working around the globe in exciting careers and industries. As you begin your journey with Niagara College trauma, know that our passionate, trailblazing, and welcoming community is here to help you fulfill your dreams. The start of term is one of my favorite times of the year as it brings new hopes, possibilities, goals, and friendships. I encourage you to take advantage of our great orientation programming to equip yourself with the tools to have the best possible experience while studying with Niagara College Toronto. We appreciate the efforts you and your families have made to begin a new adventure at Niagara College that has the potential to change your life. You will receive world-class applied education and will learn the valuable skills needed to succeed in today's competitive global job market. Embrace this opportunity and make the most of your time here. You never know where it may lead you and what opportunities it may present. The stage is set. Congratulations again and welcome to Niagara College, Toronto. I wish you all the best in your studies. Hello everyone, my name is Cindy McLeod, the CEO of Breast Canada, and I'm here today to welcome you to the Niagara College Toronto Community. First of all, congratulations for having been accepted in one of our undergraduate diplomas or graduate certificate programs. This is one of the most innovative institutions in Canada and a place that will offer you access to the significant employment and entertainment opportunities in the largest and most multicultural city in the country. At Niagara College Toronto, we put our people first and we take our health and safety seriously. Because of the current public health protocols, the spring intake will be entirely online. Until we can welcome you in person on our campus in downtown Toronto, our faculty and staff will be available online to answer any questions you might have and to help you fully adjust to your new life here at Niagara College Toronto. I encourage you to take advantage of the exciting workshops, events, and services that we have planned for you. Thank you for choosing us to provide you with the knowledge and the skills that will help you build an exciting career and a bright future. We're committed to doing everything we can to help you fulfill your goals and make your dreams come true. Congratulations again, and we warmly welcome you. Thank you. Take your knowledge of business global with Niagara College Toronto's one-year international business management graduate certificate program. As an international business management graduate, you will have mastered the core concepts of international commerce and are well prepared to take on a challenging role in the international business sector. Upon graduation, you are also eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit. Graduate career opportunities include distribution and logistics administrator, foreign trade consultant, import-export manager, international banker, and many more opportunities in the international commerce industry. Studying within an hour of one of the busiest firms in Canada and in the center of Canada's manufacturing and banking hubs, graduates enjoy incredible opportunities to work in the field. Niagara College and the Toronto School of Management have partnered to offer Niagara College's International Business Management Program in the city of Toronto. Toronto and Niagara are culture and tourism hubs that will allow you to have many additional opportunities to learn and explore while having the opportunity to connect with many international trade and commerce companies. Gain the right blend of practicality and theory to achieve an exciting career in the world of international business with confidence. If you're interested in joining us and studying the International Business Management Graduate Certificate, get in touch with one of our advisors today to find out more. Learn more at NiagaraCollegeToronto.ca Some of us enjoy the corporate 9 to 5, but others thrive at a dynamic, exciting workplace that brings a new experience each day. 
If this sounds like you, then Niagara College Toronto's one-year hospitality and tourism management graduate certificate program may help you achieve your dreams. Canada has earned a reputation of being a warm and welcoming country that celebrates multiculturalism and diversity, making it a wonderful place to visit, study, and live. In addition to the Niagara region, Niagara College's hospitality and tourism management program is now offered in the city of Toronto. Delivered by the Toronto School of Management, studying at Niagara College Toronto gives you the advantage of experiencing networks in both Niagara and Toronto. Both are culture and tourism hubs that will allow you to have many additional opportunities to learn and explore. As a graduate of the Hospitality and Tourism Management Program, you have the specialized training needed to take on increasing senior roles in the global hospitality and tourism marketplace. Upon graduation, you are also eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit. Gain the right blend of practicality and theory to achieve an exciting career in the world of hospitality and tourism with confidence. If you're interested in joining us and studying the Hospitality and Tourism Management Graduate Certificate, get in touch with one of our advisors today to find out more. Learn more at niagaracollegetoronto.ca. Nestled in the heart of one of the most diverse cities in Canada, Niagara College Toronto delivers in-demand programs that are highly sought after in today's global marketplace. Located in a public business, culture, and tourism, you will have endless opportunities to learn and explore. Take strides towards your dreams while you access employment, recreation, and entertainment opportunities offered in Toronto. Upon graduation, you are also eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit. Gain the right blend of practicality and theory to achieve an exciting career with confidence. If you're interested in joining us and studying our graduate certificate or undergraduate diploma, get in touch with one of our advisors today to find out more. <laughs> Explore exciting entrepreneurial and industry options with Niagara College Toronto's two-year business general undergraduate diploma program and launch a rewarding career in business. Canada has earned a reputation of being a warm and welcoming country that celebrates multiculturalism and diversity, making it a wonderful place to visit, study, and live. In addition to the Niagara region, Niagara College's business general program is now offered in the city of Toronto. Delivered by the Toronto School of Management, studying at Niagara College Toronto gives you the advantage of experiencing networks in both Niagara and Toronto. Both are culture and tourism hubs that will allow you to have many additional opportunities to learn and explore. As a graduate of the Business General Program, you'll be ready to lead an entrepreneurial venture, take charge of a family business, or improve the operational efficiency of an organization. Upon graduation, you are also eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit. Gain the right blend of practicality and theory to achieve an exciting career in the world of business with confidence. If you're interested in joining us and studying the Business General Undergraduate Diploma, get in touch with one of our advisors today to find out more. Learn more at NiagaraCollegeToronto.ca. dream of playing a lead role in caring for an organization's most important asset, its people. If this sounds like you, then Niagara College Toronto's Human Resources Management Graduate Certificate may help you achieve your dreams. This one-year program includes 300 hours of field placement, so you are job ready when you graduate and it prepares you to write the Comprehensive Knowledge Examination, CKE, to acquire the Certified Human Resources Professional, CHRP, designation. Canada has earned a reputation of being a warm and welcoming country that celebrates multiculturalism and diversity, making it a wonderful place to visit, study, and live. 
In addition to the Niagara region, Niagara College's Human Resources Management Program is now offered in the city of Toronto. Studying at Niagara College Toronto gives you the advantage of experiencing networks in both Niagara and Toronto. Both are culture and tourism hubs that will allow you to have many additional opportunities to learn and explore. As a Human Resources Management graduate, you will possess specialized knowledge in labor law, occupational health and safety, labor relations and compensation, and recruitment, enabling you to work in all aspects of HR. Upon graduation, you are also eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit. Gain the right blend of practicality and theory to achieve an exciting career in the industry of human resources with confidence. If you're interested in joining us and studying the Human Resources Management Graduate Certificate, get in touch with one of our advisors today to find out more. Learn more at NiagaraCollegeToronto.ca. Nestled in the heart of one of the most diverse cities in Canada, Niagara College Toronto delivers in-demand programs that are highly sought after in today's global marketplace. Located in a hub of business, culture, and tourism, you will have endless opportunities to learn and explore. <laughs> Discover pathway opportunities, study abroad, co-op placements, exchanges, and international field studies to enhance your education. Take strides towards your dreams while you access employment, recreational, and entertainment opportunities offered in Toronto. Upon graduation, you are also eligible to apply for a post-graduation work permit. Gain the right blend of practicality and theory to achieve an exciting career with confidence. If you're interested in joining us and studying our graduate certificate or undergraduate diploma, get in touch with one of our advisors today to find out more. Learn more at NiagaraCollegeToronto.ca. My name is Enda Suprapti. I'm originally Indonesian and old Swedish citizenship. I moved to Canada uh, because of uh, pursuing study um, as an international student. My first uh, study pathway was Diploma in Business Management at Toronto School of Management, Design. Um, I'm also working part-time. Uh, currently, in my position as a customer service manager at the one of the retail industry in Toronto. Uh, currently, I'm continuing my interest to study postgraduate certificate in human resource uh, management with the purpose to upgrade, update, and improve my knowledge uh, and expertise in this area. And here I am, become a student at Niagara College Third. I've been through uh, the process to do comparison of new college in Toronto. Uh, the first reason is the detail of the, uh, the courses, which is meet my requirements uh, towards certification recognition in Canada uh, to the purpose to be used and implemented globally after finishing my study. And most important thing, uh, uh, NC uh, Niagara College uh, Toronto offer PGWP postgraduate working permit, which is I can maximize this opportunity to working after finishing my study. And the second one is the co-op program, uh, which is allow a student to work in 300 hours uh, to prove our skills uh, from the classes uh, into the, the, real, uh, the real job. And then and the third one, of course, the location, because it is in downtown, then I can still also enjoy the city after the end of the classes. Toronto is the big city with multicultural people. So I can mingle with classmates which is, uh, came from uh, different countries. Um, and then also uh, the teacher is uh, uh, have a very, very uh, experienced expertise in, this, uh, in, the, in the area of the courses. 
uh, and also the campus. Uh, I had the opportunity to come to to the campus last time when the, they are open. So uh, I really like the uh, learning environment uh, because the, the classes the is uh, offer modern facilities uh, with the modern tools, and they also have like a, a small coffee shop, uh, and then also um, uh, overall for the for the school location, and then also the campus uh, facilities is the best, and then also the other one is the admission team support. Uh, since the first I engage with the with the student advisor, he gave me a really easy process to the application, which is the application is very easy, just one click, and then everything is just uh, done. And all of the admission support is always checking me out and then follow up uh, properly uh, to get all the documents needed. The course structures is very sharp, clear, and rich with the contents. It's combination between theory and best practices, I would say, because uh, myself is a best practices in, in, in the human resource. I'm also impressed with the quality of the teachers, um, which is they're really, um, I may say, highly high, high qualified in, in, in their area. So, so far, I'm enjoying our online learning environment. I feel like we are in the real classes, we reach with discussions and exchange information to make the classes alive. I've been experienced, uh, I've been through a job position uh, and an education pathway in three different countries, Indonesia, Sweden, and Canada. I feel my current study will be completed my education journey as I started to study to understand numbers through a uh, funding natural program, if you can see that. I mean, sorry, just go through the education first. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so you see, I'm um, bachelor of accounting, so I uh, started to understand about numbers, and then I continue to study uh, in the human resource development to, to understand about people, and I didn't just finish uh, till then, so I continue to uh, study to understand about IT, because it's just not enough to just understand numbers, people, and IT. And you know the the, the, the knowledge the, the business also getting developed. I, I am really interested to study in business management, which is I wanted to study in uh, business management or diploma program in Toronto School of Management. Now I have to be back to human resource management again because I believe uh, this program will complete all of my study to get credential and um, uh, as a certified human resource professional and later I can also um, get a certified human resource uh, leader, leadership. I um, enjoy dealing with people. Uh, so I, uh, if, if, if go to my career path, it is my career path, uh, see? Uh,
America, and I'm from the beautiful islands of the Philippines. I have been in town for more than two years, and I'm loving it here. Back home, I was a licensed professional nurse, but I started working in the airport, servicing the airline flag carrier of Abu Dhabi. After that, I worked at a bank assurance firm, which is part of the AIA group. And then, I pursued my career in the aviation industry. That is why I became an international flight attendant for the airline flag carrier of Saudi Arabia. I am a holder of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and then I recently graduated from Toronto School of Management, acquiring the Advanced Diploma in Hospitality and Tourism Management Co-op. I guess Toronto told me. I love the diverse community we have here. During my two years of stay, I felt like I was at home. The people are very welcoming, and it is so easy to embrace the culture. I chose Niagara College Toronto because of the reputation of the school and the downtown location. I remember back home, I was eyeing for certain schools, and Banda College is on the list. Now that they have a school here in Toronto, I certainly chose to study here. Imagine that I will be getting a Niagara College credential while staying here in Toronto. And after I graduate, I will be eligible to apply for a postgraduate working permit. That sounds super perfect to me. I was assisted by the best advisors I could ever have. Shout out to Kajos and Dinesh. They really helped me to smoothly transition. They were there to assist me even during late hours, and they really extended their service. I am leveling up my study, that is why I'm going to take the hospitality and tourism management graduate certificate with Niagara College Toronto. You know what? I am planning to start my own business and build a restaurant here in Toronto. Or even a restaurant chain. For me, with a strong international education, I will be able to execute my plans easily and make my dreams come to reality. Well, I am working now as a marketing intern for both the Keystone and the Niagara College Toronto. So during the early days, I still remembered, I started studying at Keystone and I volunteered a lot. And luckily, I became a student ambassador. Perhaps with all the hard work, they recognized my passion for working. That is why I was able to land a job, and now I'm working with my very own school. Of course, I want to be a permanent resident here and later on to be a citizen of Canada. As I work on those goals, I'm trying to own a restaurant chain and to be an expert in digital marketing. Well, it is free to dream, so why not to dream today? I 100% recommend Niagara College Toronto. And my advice to all the dreamers out there that like me, as I always tell myself, believe that it will happen. Believe that you can. Believe that it is possible. It may be a hard and long journey, but hard work pays off. Eventually, we're going to get there, and all your dreams will happen. Filipinas at mga babayang pong mahal, ako si Erica, and I'm a proud Niagara College Toronto student. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, my name is Edita and I'm student program advisor with the Niagara College Journal. So my role is to help you uh, by understanding your profile and the eligibility report. Based on that, I counsel you and I help you choose the right program for you to pursue. We have launched our virtual student lounge talk. So all you have to do is get onto our website where you get to meet me and other student recruitment advisors. It's a pretty simple process. You'll just have to get onto our, our page of Virtual Student Tour Lounge where you'll see an option to schedule an appointment with us. You'll have to put in basic information like if you are me, your phone number, your email address, the country that you are from, and the preferred time of contact. So once you complete this particular form, Within 24 to 48 hours, we Hi, my name is Ramesh Kira, and I'm a senior student recruitment advisor at the Niagara College Toronto. My role is to advise current and prospective students with their education issues, counsel them with the requirements they need to apply at Niagara College Toronto. Being a postgraduate in human resource management, and a master's degree holder in psychology. 
Get a real-time bird's eye view of your projects. Create project plan. Canada often ranks as the top of lifestyles. It offers employment opportunities. It has decent standards of health care and education. If you are planning to immigrate to Canada, one of the most difficult choices will be to pick the best place for you to live in Canada. Here we share some of Canada's best cities to live in for new immigrants. 10. Montreal, Quebec. Montreal has Canada's second largest economy. It is also one of the best places in Canada, if not the world, to raise children. Kids in Montreal are highly likely to grow up learning and speaking two languages. Not only are the kids happy and safe, but their parents and guardians find it easier to enter the labor market or to continue their studies. Living costs in Montreal are generally more affordable than in other large Canadian cities. A home in a Montreal neighborhood can be rented for as little as $400 per month, with some one apartments starting at $550 to $600. Household utilities are quite reasonably priced and generally charged. Nine, Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver, a metropolitan city with a small town vibe, is one of the most ethnically and linguistically diverse cities in Canada. 52% of its population are not native English speakers. Each of the city's unique neighborhoods presents plenty of opportunities for employment and for enjoying recreation. Vancouver is family friendly and full of fun things to do with your loved ones, as well as highly rated education programs, which makes it a great place to raise children. The cost of living and housing prices are high compared to other places in Canada, but the average income and style of living in the area are high as well. 8. Toronto, Ontario. Toronto often ranks highly as one of the happiest places to live and work in the world. It is well known for having a high quality of life and demonstrating excellence in innovation, health, safety, and security, and ease of doing business. The unemployment rate in Toronto is very low, and many individuals find satisfaction in their personal incomes with a variety of job opportunities in the area. Toronto is also ideal for healthy and self-sufficient seniors. If you enjoy a dynamic and exciting atmosphere, then you should consider a retirement home in Toronto. 7. Kingston, Ontario Kingston is the most romantic city in Canada. It's well known for its beautiful lakefront, excellent restaurants, and historic architecture. Kingston is also one of the safest cities in the country, and the best place to retire. The city offers low property taxes, a good variety of new and resale housing at reasonable prices. Medical care is inexpensive, thanks to the government-financed Ontario Health Insurance. Crime rates in Kingston are monitored by Canadian standards. It seems a very safe place to walk about, day or night. 6. Halifax. The features that make Halifax one of the best cities to live in include low property tax, availability of jobs with the government as the primary employer, and a safe and clean environment. Halifax welcomes thousands of young professionals and newcomers every year who fall in love with the East Coast lifestyle and enviable combination of urban and rural living. The city
city offers excellent housing options at costs considerably lower than many of us. Everyone, my name is Emily Kwapai, I'm the Business Development Manager of Niagara College Toronto. So tonight, I will discuss to everyone about Niagara College Toronto programs, why study with Niagara College Toronto, why Canada, why Toronto, admission requirements and application process, student services, area support, housing or accommodation, then you can ask your questions later on. Uh, please, for those who are admitted, please mute your, um, mute your mic. Okay, so these are the teams who works for the other colleagues. Toronto, our international recruitment team, the vice president of international student recruitment, Marina, director of student recruitment, Shamim, regional director for Southeast Asia, is Sandra Tenorio. And these are all my colleagues, all the business development managers of the other colleagues, Toronto. So this is for the Philippines. We have Vietnam, China, Korea, India, Brazil, Mexico, and other parts of Latin America. So now, may I have a Of course, probably, uh, please mute the mic. Sino po yung naka-open? It's uh, kind of distracting. Uh, para sa ating mga participants, we want to, you know, to listen to the webinar tonight. Pakimute po ng mic. So, may I have a college? Of course, most of you heard about may I have a college already. May I have a college, one of the established public institutions in Ontario, Canada. We have three campuses. We have Niagara College, Wellington Campus, that's the main campus. We have Niagara on the Lake. And now, in part of 
Vietnam School of Management, I would like to introduce to everyone there are colleagues throughout the campus. Of course, some international students, once you finish your study or your program in the other college in Toronto, you're going to get the other college credentials. And since we are a public school, all the programs that we are offering will give you an eligibility to apply for a post-graduation work permit or a DGWP afterwards. Now, let's talk about the programs. Our location is downtown Toronto. This is the business center, center for tourism, culture, and if I may compare it to the Philippines, it's like at the area or the GC area, so the programs that we are offering are tailored to the location. We have undergraduate programs, just as general. We have three postgraduate certificate programs. Under this is international business management. We have human resources management, hospitality, and tourism management. Why you should study with the other colleagues? Okay, there is a lot of reason why you need to study with the other colleagues. Okay, one of the most important uh, thing is because the location. Location of the other colleagues again is in downtown Toronto. So this is the center for business, reason, culture in all Ontario, Canada. Imagine, okay, I've done a lot of webinars already. After the webinars, the first question of participant would ask is, okay, are we going to be able to get a job in the job? Okay, so it seems to me that most of the uh, applicants, that's the main concern. And it's very understandable because once you're in Canada, if you don't get a job immediately, then how are you going to sustain your living? Okay, so alam natin yan. Now, kung yan ang main concern natin, Dapat, it check in your location of the school where are you going to study because it will play a very important role. Okay? And having that. Unang una, kung location ng school ninyo is not as downtown or as in city ng Toronto, imagine ninyo how big Canada is. Okay? If ever ang school hindi niyo chinek is in the middle of the countryside palawar in, hindi siya kagaya ng location ng school ko. So, ang mangyayari sa inyo niyan, Plus the pandemic, limited on such opportunity. Plus, uh, even without the pandemic, it's limited na because na hindi siya kasi city ng Toronto. So, what do you expect na makakahanap ng day ng Toronto? As simple as that. Now, transportation. It plays a very important role there. So, napakaganda ng transportation sa Toronto. It's very accessible. At the same time, it's worthless. Okay? There is a subway train connected to the end, to the whole Toronto. So, ano magiging advantage sa inyo niyan? If you're going to do your part-time jobs, natural, palipat-lipat kayo, okay? Ang bayaran po sa Canada is per hour, okay? Part-time jobs. So, probably one employer, three hours. The next employer is four hours. Probably, uh, you need to move for the third one in the same way. Kung hindi maganda ang transportation, again, kung ang scenario of school, hindi kasi yung city ng Toronto, and then, um, probably, ang mix of transportation lang is buses. Tapos ang interval pa every one hour. Namissin nyo yung bus, maghihintay ulit kayo ng another hour. So you're missing a lot. You miss the job opportunities, you miss everything, you lose your time, so it's not going to work. Trust me. Okay? Because now, a lot of people, when they're there, all they can do is, okay, I want to transfer to another school, where again, maganda ang location, na magkakaroon ka rin ako ng trabaho at maganda ang transportation. So ang maganda rin, aside from the uh, subway trains, this is an underground train in Toronto. Pero din buses. And the buses is nagrarad ng 24 hours. So kung tapos na yung service ng train for the day, hindi kayo maubusan ng biyake. And ang interval dyan is 3 to 5 minutes na. Meron kagalis sa city. Okay? So you should think about that. Kung ano yung magiging potential circumstances nyo, once you are in Canada, since again, ang main concern ng most of the people was flying, you know, to study in Canada is getting a job in education, okay? So in terms of the facilities, our, our school is located within Education House Toronto, where in this 35,000 square feet space, we have newly renovated classrooms, computer lab, set of the art auditorium, student lounge, student run, cafe, and then home. So basically, everything that we need is in here, okay? And we are offering high quality programs, and we have world class student services and career support, which I'm going to discuss to you in details on the next slide. Okay, in terms of reputation, it's very important to check the reputation of the school where you're going to study. 
So, Ali Albert College, as I mentioned earlier, is one of the established public institutions in the private time. We have three campuses. Main campus is the Welland Campus, the biggest one. Then we have Niagara on the lake, and the one I'm discussing with you this afternoon, I mean, this evening, is the Toronto Campus. Okay? Niagara College was established in the 1950s, so more than 61 years in existence already, and it is the number one Canadian research college. 91% of employers were very satisfied with the younger college graduate that they hired. So meaning to say, if the Canadian employer is that you graduated from the younger college, then there's always a high possibility or a high chance that the employer will go into hire you. Okay, I'm very proud to say that we are ranked number one in student satisfaction for eight consecutive years, a leader among 24 other colleges in Ontario. This is a very, very important thing because at the end of the day, you know, we need to know I mean, feedback from our students are they satisfied and studying in the other college, the deliver by knowing say in your what you are expecting in terms of everything, in terms of the quality of education, in terms of the facilities, in terms of everything. Okay? So again, we are ranked number one student, uh, number one college in student satisfaction for eight consecutive years. Another important thing, of course, is hindi naman kayo, okay, today you decide I want to go to Canada. I'm sure you check your options, you check other countries, you know, there's a lot of countries no doubt popular for international study, and why not? It's your right to check, but let me tell you why Canada is the best option, okay? At the moment, we are independent. Na check nyo yung siguro na most of these countries, ang border are still close, okay? One point, mag-apply kayo. Walang magyayari because hindi naman kayo makakatrap. And I know that all students for a certain country until now, nakatapos na yung visa nila, more than a year na, magpupu years na, hindi pa rin nakakaalis ng Pilipinas. Okay, ano magyayari? If you want to go that path, then it's up to you. If you want to wait more, it's up to you. But I mean, as a pandemic tayo, wala na tayong iba pang dapat isipin nyo lang kung hindi move forward. This pandemic is holding our lives too much already. Okay, so the good news for everyone, Canada's border has been open since October 2020. Now, if visa, depends on your intake. 28 days at least before your uh, start of the class, you can travel and plan to Canada. Okay, then you ka get ang Canada. And of course, Canada is consistently ranked as one of the best countries in the world and is currently the number one best country for quality of life. Okay, quality of life is in terms of everything. Top countries in the world. In terms of economy, it's part of the pandemic for the state. In terms of education, quality of education. If you finish your study in Canada, you're going to get inter internationally recognized qualification. In terms of healthcare, okay, napakaganda ng healthcare sa Canada. You're going to benefit with you and your family in the future if you get the opportunity to apply for permanent residency. It's for free. Okay, in terms of education, again, your children can study in Canada for free and from high school. So imagine niyo having all this opportunity and this wonderful, wonderful uh, country being an international student. And of course, Canada is considered one of the safest countries in the world, that is for international students, not for everyone. And a lot of students, of course, especially if you do your research, choose Canada. Why? Because Canada is a long possibilities, okay? If you check everything, you will know that once you study in Canada, in the future, it will give you an opportunity to apply for the post-graduation work permit, which is basically going to be your ticket or the key in your future. It's very important in the application of permanent residency in Canada in the future. Now, since the location of our school is in Toronto, downtown Toronto tayo, again, para siyang Makati area on PGC, dito sa atin. So, para ma-picture nyo lang kung gaano ka CTO school na. So, Toronto is one of the most multicultural cities in the world, with 250 nationalities, you know, studying, working, and living in this big city. And some of these, of course, is mga pinu. Okay, so pagdating yun, hindi kayo masyadong mangyarap just because you will see the value, okay? They will help you in any way really possible that they can. Hindi kayo at least magkakaroon ng feeling na, okay, this is my first time probably, you know, traveling to a big country like 
paradise because they got in Toronto. Don't know anybody. I don't have relatives at all. No. Hindi kayo dapat mag-isip na, okay, may hirap ang kayo ng terms of adjustment. And, of course, it is very safe. Toronto is run as the court safe as it ever did. And again, ito yung perfect location sa inyo to make your study because pag nakatapos kayo, since Toronto is one of the main terms of our global finance and business, so madali kayo makakastep up or move up dun sa career ladder in your dream job in the future. And of course, as an international student, nila naman kayo mag-aaral, nila kayo mag-tatrabaho, dahil of the week, you give yourselves at least a one day off para mag-relax, to recharge, you know, come back next week again para fresh tayo, yung know, new perspective, gawin natin yung mga usual na ginagawa natin. And the good news is there's always something to do in Toronto. So Toronto is full for the brink of shopping centers, museum, galleries, restaurant, parks, and things. So, nandito na lahat. So, ano pang nahanapin natin? Imagine ninyo yung magiging life ninyo being an international student having all these things in this nice city na mag-enjoy kayo at the same time. Okay? So, when we say museum, galleries, we see more class arts. Restaurant, all types of restaurant, different cuisines, nandito na lahat. When we say parks, then ang park is for free. Maganda ang weather, springtime comes. The first thing na makikita ninyo Ang dating dito sa park, and the park, by the way, is big. It's not a simple, like, you, ano lang, small piece of land that you're going to want to speak city. Siguro, hindi nito malibot in one to two hours. Ganun ka lang. Nature, okay? Nature as, as a guest, na parang kayong nasa country sa akin na yun. So, combination of both city life and, like, comfy feel is within this city. And then, at the beginning of springtime, the first thing you will see in the park is cherry blossoms. Instagramable. I, I know we love social media. Picture, picture, post on Facebook, ma'am ka rin. Second thing, the weather change, outdoor, because na, uh, summertime na, then, mas marami kayo yung magagawang outdoor activities in the park, and again, it's for free. There's exercising machines around the park, and exercise, and yoga, cycling, picnics, whatever you want to do. Again, and dito na lang. So, wala na kayong hahanapin pa, and the best thing is, accomplish uh, yung study ninyo, Plus, you're going to get opportunity ka agad na makahanap ng work. Now, let's talk about programs. First program, we have undergraduate diploma business general. So, ano yung eligibility to apply for this program? Dapat kayo, kung graduate kayo ng old curriculum ng high school, we require at least kayo is nakatapos ng equivalent to second year time. Whether it is a vocational program before, as long as you are not two years, or undergraduate in a bachelor, but tapos na complete ang second year college, then you can apply for this program. So this is for two years. And in the exam, or you start in school three times a year, ito sa lahat ng program, January, May, and September. So may mga pinakamalapit na intake September. Okay? Kung hindi na aabot, because kailangan din niya anticipate ang time ng visa application at course, January na ang sunod, 2020. Next is May. Then, cycle lang yun. Sunod September ulit, then January ulit, then paulit ulit lang. Now, ang tuition rate natin for one semester is 8,087.16. So, if you want to check kung magkano yung full tuition rate ng two years, sa two years meron tayo yung four semester. Ito makikita nyo sa screen na 8,087.61 semester lang. Okay? Times it by 4, again, yun ang calculation rate for 2 years. Now, 8,000 lang ang nilalagay natin kasi ito lang naman ang kailangan ninyo pagandaan. Okay? The rest of the tuition fee, babayaran ninyo yung pag nasa Canada na kayo per semester. So, it will give you enough time para makapag-ipon at babayaran yung ating tuition fee. Okay. If you're going to ask me, Kailangan bang bayaran ka agad yung 8,087.60 para maka-apply sa school, ma-admit, to get a letter of acceptance, okay? Then, uh, the answer is no, okay? Ang kailangan lang is you need to pay, of course, submit the requirements for admission, and then you need to pay 100 Canadian dollars para sa admission, but since that attempt kayo ng button or not to a fast way, wala ko kayong mabayaran. So again, it's for free. Okay, as long as mag-meet niyo yung requirements for admission, you can apply. But of course, you have the responsibility to decide kayo mabuti if you are going to proceed with the application. Now, ito, 8,087, pabayarin niyo yan before the application of the visa. 
very important kasi we need to prove to the immigration officer that capable tayo mag-aral as a student, you know, sa Canada, nakita nila na bayad na yung one semester natin will give you a higher chance na to get a visa. At the end of the day, kung wala tayong visa, then paano tayo mga pagpunta sa Canada? Right? So, hindi siya mag-uwi. Kaya, dapat, pag-isipan natin mga buti, at pagandaan natin ang mag-apply natin. Okay? So, once we finish this program, you can apply as a business analyst, customer corporate service representative, and revenue, frontline production supervisor, and work in a government or non-profit role for a marketing specialist. Oh, sorry. Uh, aside from the undergraduate natin ng college, uh, eligible then to take this program yung mga K-12 graduate natin. Okay? Okay, now let's go to the postgraduate certificate program. So, eligibility to take this program, you should have a bachelor degree. Okay, so a bachelor degree holder kayo, the first program natin is international business management. Now, I know marami din sa atin yung very contrasting ng background. So, what I mean by that is, kung yung background, a very good example, nursing graduate faith, but ang inyong work is not related to healthcare at all, hindi man lang din na practice. You're working in a call center, or you're working sa mga sales industry or any other industry na hindi related sa healthcare at all, then this is the right or the best program for you. Now, kung graduating kayo ng other bachelor uh, degree, walang problema, and work experience related sa business, pwede. If not then, pwede din, as long as mag-justify natin sa study plan, why are we going to take this program? So this is for one year. The intakes natin is three times a year. We have, again, January, May, and September. And we should be, again, one semester lang, 8,357.35. Second semester, babayaran na once you are in Canada. Now, here are your opportunities. Once you finish this program, you can apply as a customs broker, and distribution and logistics administrator, foreign trade consultant specialist, can apply as an import or export monitor, can apply as an international banker, international marketing and sales associate. Now, this career opportunity is not limited. Okay, hindi ito lang yan. So, this is just an example, can apply for any a job as long as qualified pay. Hmm. Now, the second program under the postgraduate certificate is Human Resources Management. So, same than that, both one year, the intakes, same tuition fee, one semester lang ulit ang kailangan bayaran, to apply for visa, second semester, pang nasa kanta na. Very, uh, okay, eligibility to apply, you should have a bachelor degree related to Human Resources Management or uh, psychology graduate kayo. If you don't have, you should have a work experience related to human resources management to apply to this group. Now, kung both wala, pwede naman, but again, kailangan ma-justify yung maganda sa study ko. Why are you doing like this program? Once you finish this program, it comes with, uh, by the way, 300 hours of okay, kasama sa program. And apply as benefits coordinator, compensation specialist, a human resources specialist, as a generalist, labor relation officer, and so on. Again, not limited to this career opportunities. So the third program under the postgraduate certificate is hospitality and tourism management. So who are the people qualified for this program? If you have uh, education related to hospitality and tourism management, or if you have work experience related, pwede. if wala, again, as long as you can justify the study plan, then you can apply for this program. You have remember, you all uh, video na na play uh, about Erica, she's one of our students. Ang kanyang background is nurse, graduate of nursing sa Pilipinas, nakapag-abroad, nakapunta sa United Arab Emirates. At pero ng opportunity to work sa airlines as a stewardess. So, tingnan nyo kung gano'n pala yun. Nursing graduate, nagkaroon ng experience sa hospitality and tourism industry as a stewardess. Nakapag-apply sa school namin ng program na to, nabigyan ng visa. Now she is in Canada studying in the other college Toronto with this program. So very new and explain for same. Now, again, this is for one year then, same in the exam, three times a year, and then 8,357, one semester, second semester, babayana na pang nasa Canada. Okay, yung career opportunities natin, the work is conventional conference center, 
destination marketing, hotel industry, and any tourism operations. Again, not limited to this period of opportunities. Now, I always, you know, point out, or lagi ko talaga ko, sinasabi in my webinars, that an international study is an investment. It is true. Talaga ang investment ko. Kasi hindi naman mura. Okay? Ang reality, 8,000 plus trillion dollar, hindi talaga mura. Okay, I know some of you are thinking already, but I'm mahal. Okay, ito na yan. But, let me tell you kung bakit napakaganda ang investment nito at ang 8,000 na investing yung Canadian dollar is yung return of investment sa inyo is more than what you are expecting pa. Sobra, sobra. Now, nag-invest kayo ulit 8,000 plus Canadian dollar, nag-apply ng visa, okay, nakapunta sa Canada, Now, study in the other college store. Okay? Ang program, one year. Ang dali lang yan. One year, hindi nyo na malayan, tapos na pala, ganun pa rin. Okay, as an international student, you're eligible to work 20 hours per week. Okay? During holidays in Canada, and your semester break, you can work with that. Ang pasok nyo sa school, two to three days lang, probably three to five hours lang. So, sa first semester, two months ang inyong semester break. Plus, yung 20 hours working ninyo as a student plus holiday pa. Okay, pagdating ng second semester, same scenario. Ganun ulit. Holidays, full time. Semester break, two months, full time job. Then, 20 hours per week. Now, yung 8,000 na yung invest ninyo within that one year na nag-aaral kayo, hinita nila. So, bumalik na yan sa inyo. Now, it comes second year sa Canada. Kaya di ba, eligible kayo to apply for a PGWP or a post-graduation work for you. Kaya naka-work for it na. So for one year, naka-full-time job. So you again, you invest nyo yung 8,000, na-double na, na-triple na, sober-sober na po, yung bumalik sa inyo. Now, as an international student, kung married kayo, it's your privilege or it's your benefits to bring your family with you at any time nyo. Okay? After ma-approval visa nyo, you can apply for them if you can come to Canada anytime. Sa spouse din mo ha. Ang spouse can work full time in Canada o can work for me habang nag-aaral ka. Okay? So, if you pinita ninyo, doble-doble na, sobra-sobra na po ang mali. Okay, may anak. Anak under 19 years old, pwede isama, they can study for free until high school sa Canada. Now, tell me, yung in-invest ninyo ng 8,000 plus million dollar, malaki ba? Compare doon sa benefit na nakuha ninyo, doon sa bumalik sa inyo, okay? We are talking about a security for the future, not just you, but for the future of your whole family. So I don't think na ang 8,000 plus Canadian dollar is malaking investment na maa-achieve ninyo na at ito in the future, being an international student in Canada. So again, pag-isipan natin mag So, admission requirements, very easy lang. Kung high school graduates sa old curriculum, we just need your high school diploma, the Form 137, and yung up to second year college ng qualification or transcript. Okay? Kailangan yan. If kayo is K-12 graduate, we need your K-12 diploma and K-12 POR. Now, I need a copy of your passport. Kailangan. Kasi yung iba nag-apply, wala pa ko na ang passport. Okay? So, pagdating doon sa ating graduate programs, ang ating requirements lang is kailangan natin na college POR and college diploma plus the password. Okay? Group English proficiency test like IELTS, Duolingo, PTE, Hotel, or yung mga medium of English instruction, we don't need that. So, very simple lang ulit. Okay? Wala na kayo ka lang i-provide pa ni any form of English proficiency test. In terms of scholarship, we are giving $1,000 Canadian dollars scholarship to our students. At the plan kayo through FASTLAY, medyo tayo bibigay namin ka agad yan. Okay? Deducted na yan sa first semester ka agad na inyong question. Okay. In terms of the student services, so this is what we do in helping our students. We have, in terms of academic advising and guidance, career advising and co-op services, health and wellness, social activities, housing and airport pickup until your orientation. Now, if you can see here, I mentioned to you the subway trains that were earlier. 
right? So, Pilma. So, if you can see here, you must see Carolina yan in the middle, and then yung location of school na. So, you can have the station walking distance when I am. Tingnan ninyo kung gano'n ka-acceptable yung ating location. So, eto yan, yung mga line dyan, kung makikita ninyo, connected yan. So, there's a green line, a yellow line, purple line, and a blue line. Hindi kayo mahihirapan as long as nag-minit yung mga line na yan, pag-switch lang kayo ng line, then you can. Then that is very informative. So, hindi kayo mahihirapan yung super station yan, may map pa yan sa mga subway station. Na pwede yung hawakan plus na doon sa train, nakasulat yan, first station, and of course, first station, sasabihin din sa salita, okay, this is the station at this one. So, very informative. And it will help you in a lot of ways, again, especially in terms of the part-time jobs. Madali kayo makakatravel from one place to another. So, yun ang advantage, again, ng location ng Nayaka College Strong. Okay, so, part of career services support namin is once the student or you start the programs in our school, we will prepare you immediately. In terms of personal branding, Career Development Workshop, Resume Writing, kasi ba't iba ang format ng resume ko? So, ito to one time. Back interviews, very important. Pa-practice na yun ako ang certain interview. So, gano'ng paganda yun. So, we will help you then and support you through the job application process. We will link you to all the networking events, all the training there, job fairs, lahat ng job opportunities, 100% po i-dibilang sa inyo ng school para makahanap agad kayo ng trabaho. The minimum wage in Ontario, Canada is $14.25 million per hour. So one of the highest paid minimum wage in whole Canada. Again, as, as an international student, you're eligible to work 20 hours per week during your study, full time during holiday uh, in Canada, and your semester break. So you can potentially earn from $4,000 to $20,000 Canadian dollar per year. Okay, so another good news for everyone, since we have a partnership with Toronto School of Management, you can see sa screen may mga companies na dito, ready na to, where you can apply them talent. So again, location natin is this area, downtown Toronto, you'll get a parallel access na to all the job opportunities, career services support, 100% may you can prepare, tulungan, tinulink, sa lahat ng mga job opportunities, plus may mga ready companies na where you can apply in the gym. So, at least assure kayo na hindi kayo mahihirap ang maghanap ng trabaho at ay pagdating. So, in terms of housing or accommodation, kung nakuha nyo na ang visa nyo a month before you grow up in Canada, wala pa kayo ng accommodation, walang problema, punta sa website, housing at the other guys, run to that CA, then, mamilip na kayo, it will give you two options, either Forest State Canada or Casa Toronto, para siyang Airbnb, mamili tayo kung ano yung tayo ng budget ninyo para sa accommodation. It's actually one month, two months, ilang months ninyo gusto i-book ang accommodation. Now, kung kung uh, medyo hindi ka, kayo sure, i-book nyo lang ng short term kasi magdating nyo noon, kung makahanap kayo ng mas better options, why not? Kung makilala kayo mga pinon, pwede kayo mag-share na makamura kayo, this half na mga pabayagan ninyo, why not? Pwede naman yun, walang problema. Kasi, uh, since we have a partnership with them, hindi po nang wala ng advance payment and deposit plus free of cancellation. Now, we talk about the post-revision work permit. So, sabi ko sa inyo, very important ito. So, you need to check kung ang school may in-apply ang ninyo ay eligible kayo mag-apply ng DJWP afterwards na matapos yung program. Kasi, hindi po lahat ng school is, you know, uh, uh, you're eligible to apply for this. So, it's very important. So, for a program used one year, same duration of PGWP, one year then, under that way, for you, two years na rin, will be the eligibility after three years na rin. Now, I know, may magpapano, gusto kasi after three years, para daw mga bang PGWP, walang problema, pag na-approve na kayo ng one year, bago kayo matapos, mag-prepare na kayo for the application for the second year. Okay, ganun lang siya, maging one plus one. So, naging two years na, so, up to three years na rin po yung PGWP or post-generation work permit ninyo doon sa Canada. So, again, gano'ng pagandang pathway ang international study because this is how it works. Kung nag-apply kayo ng express entry na or the permanent residency in the future, you get points for education. Ito na yan. Mag-aaral kayo. You get points for work experience in Canada. 
Ito na yan sa PGWP. Kaya sabi ko, very important ang PGWP. Kasi po ang mga co-op, internship, hindi ko siya counted as work experience point system ng application ng PR in the future in Canada. So this is the end of my presentation. If you have questions, then you can ask it more. Thank you, Ms. May. Uh, for informative presentation. So, before we end our live now, uh, for those who have questions, just open your mind. Uh, and please uh, you, use Google Meet. And we will go out the live during this QA uh, presentation. Okay? Uh, for those who have questions, uh, just open your mind. Okay? I'm Jen Bian Gonzalez.
expenses that we're going to pay para mabudget uh, niya. Bibigyan ko ng pass free yan pag nagkuha ng mga consultation or is another thing. And it's for free. So, okay. if you're having consultations kami lang for free, mas, as a, uh, I highly recommend para mas mabigyan kayo ng proper, you know, depending on yes, in your circumstances na kung man mo. Ah, okay. Thank you. And, okay. by the way, how many years is the past way now? Marvin? Um, we're on three years po, pero um, experience po namin is more than, ano po, uh, eight years na. Kasi mm -hmm. we, we are from other agencies po. Mm -hmm. uh, one okay. of the oldest agencies in Cebu. Uh, so, um, we have any other offices? Like, I'm, I'm from Cagayan de Oro. Uh, we have, pinakamalapit is Cebu, I think. <laughs> Yes, yes, po. Yes, po. Okay, now, uh, don't worry, po. Uh, so, ano, uh, student from Cagayan, um, at saka, ano, sa Davao area. Yeah. Sige, uh, po. Davao? Yes, po. Uh, okay. Paano yan ma-answered? Um, so, after this pandemic, and the flights are cancelled, so anytime, okay, is it too sharp? So, you can still assist us? Do, 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 we, have, do, do we need to visit your office? Uh, actually, po, uh, you, you need to scan all your original document. Um, the only my participation po kayo regarding sa medical po. So, we can arrange your medical in nationwide Davao Clinic. Sila yung accredited ng Canada. Sa Davao? Yes, ah, po. Okay. Si Ma'am May, si Ma May is from... Ma'am, you are now in Canada po, or you're in Philippines? I'm, I'm, I'm in the Philippines. Um, so, yes, our market of course is in the Philippines. So, I'm the representative for the Agriculture Toronto here in the Philippines. Mm, okay, so we can contact you anytime, ma'am, if you would have your yes. questions yes. for regarding the school. Okay, yes. thank you, ma'am. Your program is very nice. Thank you so much. Um, in terms of the small partner agency that I like past three, uh, by the way, ang school po is my trip kami, especially we're a public school of Canada. Hindi po kami basta nakikipag-partner sa mga agents without problem. there, uh, business license, yung legalities nila, and everything that's part of the process of being partner. Kasi yung reputation din ang school natin is a little Okay? So I can assure you, na yung mga agents natin is legal. That's all, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, we just had asked questions during the one-on-one -on -one interview or the consultation. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome. Can I also have a question? Yes. Go ahead. Or, okay. Um, in general, the question, however, my question. After completing all the requirements, how long would be the application time? Okay. If you go to school and then complete all the requirements, applying for a visa and then uh the biometrics na kayo nag medical na kayo we will wait for nine weeks or three months ang pinakamatagal po pero depende yan sa nine weeks po maximum yan yeah, maximum to three months po okay uh, another question is what if i go there in can i get an open visa for my i open working visa for my business uh, no. Nag-work lang po yan sa ating spouse. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay. we're bringing uh, sisters. Uh, I think it, it is, uh, no, uh, only kasi kung single applicant, you can bring only, I can invite only parents. But okay. for the sisters, uh, it is... Tourist lang siya. You can apply to risk. Okay, so the parents, pwede? Pwede po ang parents. Okay. Uh, another question is, I also work as a professor in the State University here in the Union. Okay, but I don't fly from between Canada. Can I speak to other areas like business? Because I also have a business here. Yes. Okay, let's go here. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, Okay, How do we attend the consultation? Okay, uh, for uh, the consultation, just leave your contact number, complete name, and email address so that we can assess you. And please inform us when is the available time that we, uh, that we, that we need to call you. Uh, okay. Open po kami sa lahat ng social media po. Thank you po. May tanong pa, ma'am? Joanna? Thank you. Okay. Another question po? Another question po? Another question po, sir? Thank you po, ma'am. 
Sino po? Si DJ Francisco. Okay. Sige po. Sige po. Malang, malah, malah. Anak anak pasti pakai oled. Pakai oled, sir. Anak. Sir, for the seaman, anu ko ang best na sports na sport, no? Yes po. Okay. Just think for one one thing for one one. Jimmy, what? Jimmy. Hello. Hey. Kami pelako. Kami lah. Pedi senang berkenas. Kami berkenas. Kami berkenas. Ah, okay. Pwede po kayo daw sa mabig na mga pinag-ibig. Ano yun, sir? Yung ulit? Ay, ito. 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 Parang nag-overlap. Ay, ito. 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 Dahil ba nang nag-a-apply na sa ganyang na-apply na sa ating mga sa ating mga sa? For being participant. I can't say na. Naging ako siya. Kasi dalawa naka-open to you. Well po ha. Sino pong nauna po na question na sa asal question? Si Marie. Sige po, Ma'am Doreen. Ang question po po is, saan ba naka-apply ng visa na yan is upward? Kasi alam ba, Canadian visa to this. Pero, I just want to apply for what you call that. Nalit kasi ako sa discussion. Is this for us? Lahat ba na-approve dyan? Or parang ano? Depende po sa situation ng applicant po. Depende po sa ano. Kaya uh, we have to ano po, ma uh, maingat sa application sa regarding sa course matching. At saka okay. depende po sa status ng ano, student. Answer. Hindi siya sa assessment? Yes po. Depende po sa assessment ma'am. Uh, We can guide you sa assessment natin one-to-one -one po kung ano kailangan natin. Okay. Okay. So, uh, depende po po sa, kung regarding po sa visa approval, so regarding po dyan, uh, if we meet the requirement, financial requirements, the home times, okay. and then the school, uh, course matching okay. po, so, and then your study plan. So, this four, kung maganda ang paggawa natin ito, So there's a chance of na ma-approve ko yung uh, ah, okay. yung application. You know, you know, to be honest, eh, wala, there's no such thing as 100% na approve. Uh -huh. Any application yan. Right. It's either kung student yan, kung it's visa yan, whatever kind of detail you're applying, wala tayong 100% na guarantee. So what we do is, of course, we yeah, uh, think we prepare lahat. What is needed for the application? Kailangan 100% na guarantee to me, no? Based on sa West, kung titingnan mo yung course namin, four years yun, di ba? Pero based on sa West, ang World Education System, two years lang talaga yung patumbas ng course ko, tama? Kaya po. Pero pwede po yan. Kaya nakasabi ko nila ako na for these programs. Okay? Kasi ang parang may 
main requirements naman dito, it's either a bachelor degree or mm -hmm. that may plan ng output equivalent ng post-secondary education. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> so, yung ano niya, yung student, yung pag nag-study ka din, mga ilang taon usually ang, ano, ang, ang inaalat namin tendence sa study, if ever na ma-approve to me siya. One year lang. Ah, one year lang, tapos yung then work na. Apo, yung kung ating na uh, actually na study is eight months, kasi four months kayo na naka-sinastral breaks. Okay. Okay, sige. Okay. Thank you, thank you. This time po, ang pasos na school to be free to find the words. Hindi siya full week, so don't worry. Hindi siya na part of the world. Pero ano siya, pinababasa kasi ako na you can study at the same time you can work. Tama yes. ba? Yes, Tama. so you're eligible to work as a student 20 hours per week. Okay? okay. Then you're eligible to work uh, full time kung halibig sa Canada or kung ang ating uh, snapper break. Full time job day. Okay. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Good tanong po ako, ma'am, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Good tanong po, ma'am, sir, ma'am. Sir, di ba may kasama po pupunta po sa Canada? Espouse or dependent po? Yes, pa. Pwede po. Pa? Paano po, sir, bakit po po? Ang isa po ay patinay po sa sa immigration yung visa po niya. Okay. Ano po, ano po yun, sir? Pag-tinay po, mag-try po ulit? O pag-try po ulit, mag-bayad po ba o yun, sir? O ano po? Regarding po ng sorry to use, for example, pamilya yung natin natin natin, tapos nalit mo sila sa anak. So, we can re-apply again, sir, then we will comply kung anong hinihingi ni officer sa embassy. So, for example, kung kailangan natin siyang i-provide ng mga documents, kailangan natin siyang i-gather lahat before for re-application natin for process. At saka, walang mayroon. Kaya yung magbabayad na po, sir? Only the visa fee na lang po. Ang mabayari. Ano sa magkano po kaya, sir? More or less, nasa 9,875. Nakama na po sa biometrics. Okay po, thank you. May take on that question, sir, Mark. Yes, ganito pa si Jan. Ang student po kasi, pag nag-apply ka, of course, na-approve yung visa mo, that's the time na you can bring your return back to Canada. Otherwise, hindi ka makakapatay ng return. Actually, hindi ka na-approve sa visa, correct? So, yun ang benefit mo as a late na student. Well, yan. Now, ang usual lang naman dyan is as long as mamit ng requirements mo, ng dependent mo, kung ano yung kailangan, which is number one lang dyan, is yung proof of funds din mo. Kasi it's the time that may corresponding proof of funds niya. Wala maliging problem ako maliging proof. So don't worry too much about that. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, dear. Question po. Application lang. Sige po, Sir Bernard. Go ahead po. Yes. Question is made. Yes po. Yes, ma'am. My background po kasi is also the same with others or with education. Now, if I'm going to apply for a student visa, di ba we have to create letter for intention? Ganun po ba? Now, if I'm in line with education, how can I prove to the immigration na the course or the diploma courses na you offer or yung kukuli ko is about business or about tourism? How? How? Uh, are you able to help to us to make the, the letter to be strong? You know, um, uh, how, how are you able to convince? Yeah, kung bata kasi po, ang standard na nasabi ko sa'yo, it's the time of the student, of course, na i-justify natin yan. Kung bakit tayo mag-aaral ng program ito na, pass to a date and value. Of course, it has part of their service, it can value with us, and it won. And if ako, hindi ako masyado busy, I do not let me check it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that's part of the, the, the service ko. But again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, it's very, very important na ma-justify yan ng maayos because uh, when you need to justify, ang spadid ba na how important it is kung possibly sa inyo sa Okay? Yes, ma'am. Dapat very proper tayo. Just okay. for pinuturo mo. You know what? Sorry, Edna, kala yung pagkutayo. I cannot... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. 